It, like, I would need, like, an awful lot, like, from a bet. I would need, a, like, an awful sum of money, like, at least a thousand bucks to, to, like, even go up there and do it. Like, I couldn't do it. I, like, I would, like, not faint, but I would feel, like, probably, like, a little physically ill, and I would, like, yeah, it would be, oh, like, the worst. I mean, I cannot, I cannot look at pictures of people standing on it. <laughs> I, I freak out. Yeah. Like, it's, I have very few fears besides that, besides your normal, like, I don't want someone pointing a gun at me. You know, like, yeah. like, normal stuff. But, like, that is, like, holy crap. Like, I can't even, like, sometimes when there's videos of people, like, skydiving, I can't watch them. Mm. Like, even though I'm not doing it, you know? Oh, dude, there's a video of someone climbing, like, one of those really tall, um, service, like, antenna things for, like, radios. He's so far above the ground, like, you start seeing, like, clouds. It's so scary. Here's something that's really interesting, and Trevor. <laughs> that video you watched, I swear to goodness, I, Parker and I watched it as well. Whoa. And I'm going to say with a 50% probability, because there's only a couple videos that are like exactly like that, I swear that's the place we visited in North Dakota with Nick. We visited the, like, it's like the largest radio tower in the country. Oh, that one. In North Dakota. Yeah. yeah. Pictures of that. And like, it's that so high that if you stand within like a thousand feet of it, you can't look up and see the whole thing. Oh, I mean, it might be the same thing. That'd be really funny. I'm pretty sure, because before we went, we watched the video and we were like, oh my God, what's this guy doing? And he's like, you have to go change the light bulb on the top or whatever. Like, I was like, like yeah, it's time to... To go along with that, and I won't let this last forever, but the, the, the most B8... Uh, the most badass people in the last hundred years are the people who worked on, like, the Empire State Building, just building it, and, like, they would just be up there, like, 70 stories high without, like, gear. Like, you can never do that nowadays, but there's, like, pictures of them just sitting, like, a thousand feet off the ground on scaffolds, just, like, eating lunch, like, it's 11, and it's, like, two. Anyway, Ben, you have one? Um, obligations and responsibility. Those are scary. They are super scary. My obligation and responsibility was when I was in the kitchen, I could hear him yelling from upstairs. That was pretty scary. He wanted juice, by the way, which is even scarier. We faced her, I believe, in the next. So there's only two more power ups, and the game's almost over. <laughs> nice. You know what to do. Do you have one, Trev? Of fears? Yeah. Um, uh, probably traveling at high speeds. Like, even when I used to, like, um, go on a bike, like, if it would go down the hill, it would probably break, like, more than a person would normally. And cars kind of a little tiny bit freak me out. Well, you know, if, you know if what's if funny? I think like, about it. very few people would say that, but, like, statistically, it's, like, a good fear to have. Like, my fear is ridiculous. Like, I could ride a plane every day for the rest of my life and never have any problems, you know what I mean? Probably. Yeah, um, but, like, if I drove all the time, like, the chances are someone you know has been in an accident or, like, yep. was hurt or killed or whatever, you know? Yeah, I, I always, uh, when I'm a passenger in, you know, when someone else is driving, it, I always get so anxious, like, when I feel like they're going too fast, even though I would probably be driving in, like, much the same way. I don't know. I think for me it's more of an issue of, like, I don't feel like I'm not in I don't like feeling like I'm not in control. Well, you gotta trust that person, too, to, like, not be super dumb. Oh, I don't trust anyone. Especially in a car. Yeah, I don't believe you. Do you trust yourself? No. <laughs> I don't even trust myself. Actually, I'm the only person that I trust. I, uh, I had a friend who uh, had to drive down to Philly for some stupid reason. But she ah! Oh! Nice. Oh my God. But it's right there, isn't that, it? Actually, that's my fear. Mimics? My fear that's... is going to a treasure chest and having it actually try to eat me. Yep. But, yeah, anyway, I, I, this friend was like, hey, can I borrow your car to, like, drive down the building? Oh, God. Oh, I would no. never let him Never. Because, like, you know, my car, like, there was some sort of issue with her car, and I was like, oh, yeah, no, of course you can do it. And, like, we, and she was like, you know, I'll buy you a beer when we get back there, and I'll pay for gas and all. Oh, she hasn't gotten back the gas. Ooh. 
Ooh. Glad I reminded you. Mm. Wow. Thanks, everyone, for enlightening Enlighten. the conversation. Yeah. Are you going to bring it up like that guy? Uh, you haven't paid me. I, I'm going to bring it up immediately, actually. It, it had to be like... I'm texting her right it now. It had to be like 20 bucks of gas. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But uh, oh, I just filled up right before I came here, too. Or she could have done something like... Filled up your tank once she was done. Well, like, yeah, that's a good like, courtesy. You know, and you know what? We went to the bar, but I'm paying for my drinks. Ooh, need but anyway, yeah. So like the entire way we're going there, I'm just like in the in the passenger seat. I'm doing that thing where I'm like reflexively braking. Wait, wait. So here's my question for you. She borrowed your car, but you were there, right? But you, you didn't drive? Oh, yeah, she offered to drive. Oh. And I was like, you know what? I hate driving to Philly. That's true. This I really hate it. Is. Now he's mad. I'm not sure if... And also, like, to go to, like, a specific street in Philly, because like, I just don't like big cities. Like, big old cities, especially. Yeah. I mean, Philly is notoriously bad. It's, yeah. It's not the worst in the country, but it's bad. Yeah. Um, on the other hand, I actually... I don't enjoy driving in Lancaster, but it's super easy. Like, it is all a grid, like, basically. Yeah, but it's like still sucks. one or two places that, like, do not adhere to, like, a logical grid where I'm like, what's going on here? But Philly is just, like, a crapshoot. Like, from place to place. Nice. Oh! By the way, everything has a brain in this game, I guess. Friggin'. Well, like, Philly's so bad because... There's a lot of stuff going on. Yes, there is. Yeah. All right, if I had to put a very minor... I'm going to use quotes around the fear because it's one of oh, the things I hate Wait, doing being, oh, is finding no um, in no any way. sort of yeah. city, even like Lancaster, finding parking is, like, one of my most dreaded things. I would rather, like, if someone was like, take out the smelly garbage, whatever, you know, whatever, I'd be like, whatever. But it's like, let's find parking in Lancaster. Like, I will find the first place available, even if it's, like, a couple blocks away, because I'm like, F that. Is my beam big enough? I, I'm pretty lucky, because uh, I just go to my old work, and I text my boss, and I'm like, I'm parking behind, and she's like, okay. You are not authorized. What about the what about like if eventually happens where he's like, nah, dude. Ooh. There's, there's oh, also, oh, what is this? Look at the Metro. <laughs> Look at the cute little. Teeth I didn't on think there was gonna be any Metroids in the Metroid game. What what What's the purpose of this station? Why are there Metroids here? Oh, oh hi. that's me. Oh. I'm the unique sprites made for this specific purpose. Oh no! Huh. I'm enjoying the random Six talking. seconds. Look at that. Hardest. Bye. That's that's the worst. That's the most difficult time. Wait. Would... Oh. Uh, in space, would it do that? Or would it just like... Yes. I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make a noise. No, no, no. But I meant, would it like well, it fall? Probably, it like I would fell. have thrust I mean, it was, yeah, it was so... probably thrusted away. Oh, oh look. Samus is talking. I think she only says one line here. Oh. One. It just reminds me of a Metal Gear thing. Ah! <laughs> Ten SAX. I can beat him. SAX. You guys ready? You guys ready for... Yo, Trev, I don't particularly feel like playing Phantom Pain, so if you don't mind doing it for an LP right when it comes out, that would be pretty That's cool. That's fine, but I'm not going to wait to play the game for the LP. I'm the going to play it before I said the same thing about that incident. That's fine. I think the is... Adam, 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 the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby. <laughs> thing is that Adam's not even a character in this game. Um, it's just a backstory piece that's referred to constantly. Boom! Only five more energy tanks? Yeah. Actually, that's the last one. It's just a missing graphic. Oh, I would yeah. cry. Could you, like, somebody should just do that, like, do a collect-a-thon kind of game that just, like, messes with people so much. It's just kind of like this. It's oh, 74 uh, power bombs. 
What's the max HP you can get? 247. Okay. Yes. Oh, Mr. Pirate. Oh, we get the return of the infamous gold um, uh, space pirates from Super Metroid that I don't understand. In this game, they're a lot better. Oh. Oh. I don't think the door is going to open now. Okay, good. This one, they're a lot easier. Why? Cool. Why not? Good point. Oh. <laughs> nice! Because they're... The dodging. Because they're annoying and not actually challenging. Oh! It can't be. The, the sprite for Ridley's cool in this game. Whoa! Whoa! Nice! Also, he's very loud. Very. Oh, God. I think the sound levels are going to be great on this video. Yeah. Yeah, it is not the microphone being bad. It is just the, the, the actual sound effects being this distorted. Oh, my God. Like an, accurate, an accurate representation of how Smash would be with Ridley. Yeah. An accurate representation of me before I had my coffee. Ah! Got it. Oh my god. Ridley too easy this game. Yeah, he is easy in this game. He looks the coolest, but he's easiest. Uh, I don't know. Prime Metroid. I don't remember. I haven't played Prime in uh, a long time. Is Ridley in Metroid 1? Yeah. Yeah. As like a very un... Eventful boss that a, a disappears, tiny sprite. and then he's also in two. The same size. As I don't think he's in two because two pretty much is only about um, Metroids. Metroid Two is a game about Metroids. Hmm. So what happened to the other uh, Samus? Uh, so that one died. Oh, is that what happened? Okay. So we're sort of starting the uh, post game right now, so yay! So this is just like a lots of pickups. One session kind of thing. Yeah. Wow. Hey, it's that guy again. Hey, look, he's dead. Those things are so freaking dumb. You hate them a lot. I can tell. I hate them. I don't think they're they're good or compelling. They just don't get you. They're just gold. They're gold, and they're I I believe they're invulnerable to like everything except like a charge shot and screw attack. Yep. And in Which, Super Metroid, they are so hard to hurt. I mean, and those those weapons are not hard. Like, there's no limit to it, like, you don't have to... I don't know. For something that they make such a big deal out of, like, oh, this enemy is gold, it's special, like, it doesn't, like, have a message in talent. Okay, we're back into Sector 1. So how this works is, if you leave for the upper deck, you cannot return, so you have to do all the, um... Uh... The extra stuff. Extra stuff, like, right now. So there's secret entrances into the other areas that you find with the screw attack. And it's very cool. I really like this area, but it took me a long time to learn because a lot of the secrets are completely random. Are there any in the save room? Yes. Oh! oh. To do that the first try. Oh. What in the howdy hey? What was that? Dang, oh, no. Yeah, if you get hurt, your uh, 
part is gone. Makes sense, I guess. Oh, I don't know if you're gonna. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, good. Got it. Easy. 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 There's. Uh, probably like four Shine Spark things that I really want to do well on because they're annoying. But there's one that's really hard. And Ben, I actually found out an easier way to do it. Uh huh. Uh, I guess we'll see it. Not, not right now. It's just one of them. So all the Metroids are like dead? Sort of? Yeah, I guess so. You can actually do that uh, part with just wall jumping. You don't need a screw attack, but it's just faster to do it this way. Collecting things. Wamp, 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 wamp. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why, but every time you get the gravity suit in pretty much any Metroid game, lava no longer does damage to you for some reason. Would it be the the Varia, the Varia no, the, suit? No, the the Varia Varia um, prevents or like reduces the damage, but it doesn't prevent it. Oh, it's when you get the uh, gravity suit. Oh, wait a minute! What was that we just saw? What was that? What? Oh yeah. Nice shortcuts between the sectors. Get in there. Shaboos! You destroy a lot of stuff around this stage. Ironic. Using a power bomb to get power bombs. Makes you think that's a good It really does. I don't know about what, but it makes me think. That effect is much more uh, intense than the uh, super. Super Metroid. Yeah. Well, I spent most of the game's budget on that effect, so... I can tell. I thought it was Ridley's sprite, but... No, Ridley's sprite was very easy. Oh, okay. Dead lava... I want a game oh. kind of like, well, essentially what I want is a game like Symphony of the Night that does what Symphony of the Night does, where you start out for a little bit being ridiculously strong, and then it takes everything away. It's kind of funny. Prime kind of does that. You don't have everything, but they do start you with stuff and then take it away. That is the best. And it like gives you a sneak peek. You're like, dude, I'm going to be that strong. But for Symphony, the stuff they take is so far into the game that you probably yeah. will forget, like, specifically what it is. And I like how Symphony, it gives you really good stuff, but you find out that it's eventually outclassed yeah. as well. Yeah. It's not, like, the best. Remember that sword in Symphony of the Night that was just, like, you hit the button once and it did, like, Seven or eight attacks. Yeah, it's the rare drop of the uh, the hardest enemy in the game. Those gold things, right? 
the you didn't the skull? No, that's the uh that's the ring of Barda. The sword is this it's the rare drop of this enemy in the library called I think it's the shield. It's this flying head. Oh right. Yeah, Christopher, I remember that. I think. Oh, got that one. You didn't you didn't get that during your uh playthrough tribe, did you? What? Uh wait, did you you lp Symphony, right? Yeah. 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 Did you get that sword? I don't think so. I didn't really grind for any like rare drives. It's stupidly overpowered. <laughs> like actually, a lot of things in Symphony are stupidly overpowered, could like you, spells. Could you imagine like you're playing it for the first time here in the library, and you just so happen to get the rare drop, and you're like, "Well, the rest of the game's easy." Oh, it's it's inverted library, but it's ah, still like. Gotcha. It's still pretty bad. How like how much it just like ruins everything. It, it's not like it's not like it I mean has a it's bad like a very end game item with a very small drop rate. Like yeah, you're yeah. not supposed to actually get it. Oh, oh man. <laughs> what? If I go there, I can't return. I'm so glad I was paying attention. Uh oh, that would have been a bummer. I would have been so sad. Thank you, dog. Thank you, memory. Trevor's memory. Now, I actually have a, a save file um, that I could just reload just in case. But I don't want to. Um, by the way, when Trevor does that uh, super jump or whatever it's called, you. that is Screw actually attack. Ben oh. after he has his morning coffee. Wow! He's like, ah! dude, I love this meme. That's just it's the, the best most thing, epic but... meme of 2015. So there's not much in Sector Five you have to do. You have to do this, but that's pretty much it. I, I don't approve of unauthorized use of this meme. Yes, sir. Copyright laws. <laughs> hey, who's leaving this stuff anyway? I know, right? What's the deal with that? Who designed this ship? It seems very inefficient. Uh, you know what? Let's just stick an energy tank here that you have to fly to. Before yeah. You're supersonic speed powers. I don't. Well, you're I don't spinning. See the, I don't see the complaint. Then. You're spinning and you're jumping. And in like a box that has invisible. Yes. Can't take everything literally. That's right? for sure. That is for sure. So this area is the worst area for the um, optional drops. There's a lot of just like very unintuitive, weird, annoying things, and we're gonna do the first one, the worst one right now. Oh. Gotcha, mate. So I figured out a better way to do this, so it's not super bad anymore, but it's still, like, horrible. Oh, thanks. Thanks, guy. We Got him! Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, so you're not supposed to do it this way, but, um... You did. You can do it like this, where you make a shine spark, um, jump, uh, you have to jump and then do a mid-air um, shine spark, like, in a specific way. It's hard. What's, what's the correct way to do it? You're supposed to enter this room while you're jumping. While you're jumping. Ah. Slightly too oh, low. Oh, they're all okay. Slightly too low. It's too low again. Wait, can you get trapped in there? No. Oh. I There's, assume the rocks. I mean, yeah, I guess that'll, yeah. I keep forgetting to push jump. Again. You got this, Get me. that power bomb, mate. Ugh. Ugh. This is the one. 
to earn! Oh. That's me. Easy. 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 Why? Got it. Okay. Wait. Oh, I get you had to be going. I get it. Okay. You had to be going. Fast. Fast. So that's the worst one out of the way. There's still one more annoying one, but it's not super bad in this area. And then there's one real cool one in uh, Sector 4. That ben, did you text really your friend about the money? No. Really? I'm, actually, I'm actually been texting her since. Yeah. Like, we mentioned it. 